everybody. It's the Monica Makes It Happen show. I'm Monica Morales, and we're always fighting for families, especially the children of our communities. Tonight, let's highlight the heroes who are really making it happen for our kids. From some of the biggest banks in the world to the music royalty, they're right here in our studio. Tony award-winning actor of stage and film, Ben Vereen is here in our studios, a legendary performer, but his heart is fighting for our children. Me. She's the daughter of a music legend who has devoted her life to promoting happiness and wellness. Her mom is Diana Ross. Rhonda Ross is here. Why is it so important for you to tell people to be happy? You have to tran transform it, transmute it. And we have the power to do that. She's a Latina from the Bronx. Giselle Castro, the CEO of Exult Youth, is here. She got millions of dollars from Mackenzie Scott, and she's helping thousands of young people transform their lives. What is mm -hmm. the secret to the success of Exult? It's the model. Congressman Richie Torres saw several of our stories and wrote big checks, almost a million dollars, saving playgrounds to food pantries. And he's taking the children of the Bronx to Washington, D.C. The secret to the success of the Bronx are the powerful mothers. We have legendary banks, JP Morgan Chase, Goldman Sachs, and the Circle of Generosity, all giving checks to help our children. Okay, I already fell on the floor because of this panel. Wait till you see who's here with me. Ben Vereen is here, the legend. Rhonda Ross is here, and Congressman Richie Torres. Thank you. I think this is one of the most powerful panels we've had. I love all of our panels. But Ben, first you. You are a legend. But what you are most known for is fighting for our children. Yes. And that's what you tomorrows. Want. Yeah. We have no tomorrow without them. And if we don't give them the right ingredients they need in order to flourish, we are a doomed civilization. You know, we've been busy teaching kids how to make a living instead of how to live. Mm -hmm. The arts will help them live a better life. You know, we start with the arts and you can do anything. You got the healing powers with you. You got all the things you need because we are a creative people. In the beginning, God created, not in the beginning, God manufactured. Yeah. So therefore, we're creative aspects of the one who created us. And you get that to the children and know who they are, What's the world change? Oh my God. Yeah. Everything What's you say is change? like a song. And you were singing the Monica Makes It Happen song. Monica makes it happen. Monica makes it good. <laughs> Monica makes it happen. Tune in. Pixie Living. Wow. <laughs> I have a new theme song. That's all I need. I learned it from your mother. Oh my God. This is, this is so epic. I don't think I could continue. Can I have to keep going? I have to keep going. But you are opening up a performing arts center. Yes, yes, yes. My, my, my son, my godson. Um, we you know, love I, Yeah, him. I love him. I love him. I yeah. love him. I love him. I love him. I love him. We're, um, we're looking at doing a school upstate in the Catskills a high school for the performing arts, Norman Scott. You know, he's been at this dream. You know, we brought him into our well, home. Well, he's coming back he, on the show. Yes, You're going to be yeah. at the end and of the show we'll, as well. You'll meet him, you talk to him. Yeah. But uh, what we want to do is make a difference in kids' lives. And by giving them a high school or a school for the performing arts, we get a chance to give them the ingredients they need in order for a better life. Um, but to give them kids who are what we call troubled kids today. I don't believe in troubled kids. Yeah. We children need help. That's right. And need Rhonda, our love. That's where you come in because you're talking about happiness and your mom is Diana Ross. We love her so much. Yes, we do. We love yes, we do. you Appreciate and what it. you are doing for Thank happiness you. and mental health. Tell me about that yes, initiative. Yes, yes, I also have a platform that helps people feel better, take mm. the, the reins mm. of their mood, of their happiness mm. into their own hands. We have an epidemic right now where we are looking to other people to, to fix our lives. We're blaming other people for the fact that we don't feel good in ourselves, where I believe that we have the power inside of ourselves yes. to shift our own yes. thoughts yes. and feel better. And then yes. when you feel better, you're able then to help others. You're yeah. able then to be more balanced. You're able then to reach out. You, you're less raging. You're yes. less um, fearful, all mm -hmm. of that. So it, to me, self-care is community care. I love your Instagram. Mm -hmm. I'm your biggest fan. And you have a show, right? Yes. Yeah, so I, I teach this, what I call the power of, of thought 
through my courses and my workshops and all of that, but also my concerts. So I'm a performing artist. I and see a duet coming on here. <laughs> what do you guys and think? And I write I think songs so. that help me feel better, that the audience can use as a tool, mm -hmm. that they can use those lyrics and have that on their tape okay. so that they can also feel better. I'm so your biggest, biggest, yeah. biggest fan. It's, it's like thing. affirmations. Yes, it's... You begin to uh, say something Sandra. positive over and over again. That's right. And at that affirmation of positive thinking well, becomes a part of your life. You just endorsed... Your, your words have power. Words have power. And the beginning thoughts was have the power, word, yes. And so the word has power. Yes. How we use our words changes our scope. You're going to be exactly my co-host, right. okay? Because you just endorsed Richie Torres, though, for president. Yes, that yes, just yes. happened off this camera, happening. everybody. This is happening. Richie, you are here because you've been on my show before I even had a yes. show. You were, you were on my show. Um, talk to me about, you wrote a $750,000 check for one of our viewers to have a playground for her son and all the children in the Bronx yeah. who are living with disabilities. You yeah. are really funding these ideas and you are giving back to the Bronx in a big way every single day. Well, look, I draw inspiration from you because you've been a happy warrior for everyday people on the ground. I mean, you're giving voice to those who otherwise would be unheard. You're telling stories that would otherwise be untold. So I draw inspiration from you. Uh, but for me, there's nothing more important than investing in our young people. A wise person once said, if you don't have a seat at the table, then you're probably on the menu. Oh. And, oh. and young people That's are... That's why he's the next president. No. <laughs> young, young people deserve a seat at the table. Uh, and so one of my highest priorities has been to invest in youth employment, youth opportunity. You know, we invested more than a million dollars to establish a STEM youth employment center at the World Wildlife Conservation Society. Wow. I have partnered with Senator Schumer to secure $4.5 million for the Bard Prison Initiative, which actually trains those who are incarcerated in debate. And, and those who have been incarcerated have out-debated students from Yale, Harvard, yes. Princeton. So when we give our young people opportunities, there's no limit to what they can accomplish. That's, That's right. right. And look at you. You bringing so many students yeah. to the White House, to the Capitol. We have a lot of good video of that, that visit that yeah. you did. But you're, if you see it, you can be it, right, Richie? Look, I'm living proof. Uh, you know, 15 years ago, I was a broken man. I had dropped out of college because I found myself struggling with depression, mm -hmm. abusing substances. Mm -hmm. uh, there were moments when I thought of taking my own life because I felt as oh, if the wow. world around me had collapsed. I did not know. And so I never thought seven years later, I would become the youngest elected official in America's largest city and then seven years later become a member of the United States Congress. Like, only in America is a story like mine possible. That's right. Uh, and so the lesson learned from my life is never lose hope. Yeah. yeah. And you keep that... I, just, I, was, I was almost want to shout. Yeah. I almost went to church. Yeah. 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 Yes, you did. <laughs> and you always break news on my show. You're known for this. Some big news. Yeah. You said you're breaking news here. Yes, yeah, so look, I'm concerned that young people are going to have fewer opportunities yes. than their parents and grandparents. Yes. You know, the American dream is increasingly out of reach. For me, the essence of the American dream historically has been home ownership. Mm -hmm. right? There's nothing comparable to home ownership as a tool for building wealth. Yes. Uh, and so I'm launching, in honor of Juneteenth, we're launching a public campaign for black financial independence. And so I just want to explain, it's about credit scoring. So I have constituents who have been paying their rent on time and in full for decades. Yes. Yeah. But none of that is factored into their credit score. And without a credit score, you have no means of accessing capital, mm -hmm. no means of wow. buying a home. Mm -hmm. So we're calling yes. on the Federal Home Loan Bank of New York to expand credit score to include rental payments, mm -hmm. which would expand access to That's capital huge, for 33 million Americans. This is huge Access news. to home ownership right for 13 here. million Americans. In my district alone in oh. the Bronx, 72,000 people would have a credit score for the first time, and wow. of the 72,000, 21,000 <laughs> would have a high enough credit score to we qualify for home ownership. We love it. Standing, Standing ovation. Standing, Standing ovation. Standing we love you. So and that's how we should celebrate Juneteenth. That's, that's right. right. Not that's only with our words, celebrate. but with our deeds. Well, that's right. You know what? I love you guys. You are our PIX11 community champions. Ben, you get one. Rhonda, oh you God. are. Oh, and of course, you. Congressman Richie Torres. I want to thank my mother yes. and my friend. Well, and, my, and thank you. <laughs> oh, wait. Well, you're coming back. We don't want people, people have to stay tuned because we have so much more of the show coming up. Playing video games can actually help your kids learn about money. That's right. Our friends from J.P. Morgan Chase are here. It's the first program of its kind, and the CEO of Exult Youth is here, too. She is transforming lives, and she just got a $5 million check to help children in need. That's next. There she is. Hi, Giselle. There you go. 
Uh, we're the Bed Stuy Sluggers. Uh, we are a youth development organization that's making it happen in Bed Stuy, like Monsters making it happen in Brooklyn. Works great. Thumbs up to you. Thank you so much. I knew you was gonna make it happen. That's my girl. Yeah.